Hello guys, how are you? Welcome to the channel. So today we're having a Toyota 2JZ all engine swap top speed battle and uh, we will be starting off with a 1985 Toyota Sprinter Trainer GT Apex. Then we get on to the 1992 Supra 2.0 GT. Then the 1992 Toyota Celica GT4 RC ST, ST185, I believe so. Then we get on to the 1998 Supra RZ and lastly the GT86, um, the 2013 model. So um, all of these engines are coming in fully upgraded and tuned. Let's see which one of it is truly the fastest. So let's get into it guys. And before we start, please make sure you like the video and you subscribe and you will be entertained every single time. So let's get into it guys. Just listen to that. All right, so uh, I've kept the traction on for all cars because these cars are really, really bad with its handling. And I saw I need to try and stay focused to get To get the best out of it all right i know that run wasn't good but let's see what we're still gonna get after the final run we've seen 35 36 36 we just might not see anymore 436 kilometers per hour with the 1985 sprinter trainer gt apex and it is crazy guys all right so we're getting on to the next one Alright, so next up, we've got the 1992 Toyota Supra 2.0 GT. Um, I believe you're already seeing the performance that I got with all cars after um, they run. You will get it over there. And mind you, all of these cars are having uh, almost, I think, I think, yeah, the same power across. Yeah. Alright. They all sound the same. All right, we lose a lot of uh, grip over there, but. So 37, 38, can we see a 40? No. All right, so with a Supra, we managed to get uh, 438 kilometers per hour. This is insane, guys. This well goes to tell you how powerful the 2JZ engine is. All right, so let's get ahead and check out the next car next up we've got the 1992 toyota celica gt4 rc st185 <laughs> such a long ass day <laughs> all right so uh we're going right ahead to test this boy up uh if you are enjoying this video please don't forget to like it and drop your comments in the comment section and we're gonna discuss it definitely all right so let's see what this car is coming up with and mind you they come in no particular order i will display the fastest to the slowest after uh, i have them run with all five cars okay so we are it and you could hear the turbo kicking in every now and then all right i'm sorry uh but let's see what we still gotta get because the run on this is extremely hard wow 440 regardless how bad the run was 
uh, th this is it with, with Toyota cars. These cars here are extremely hard to, to handle, especially with the kind of power that it's coming up with and the, the speed. It's, it's just, it almost feels like you can't handle it at all. All right, so we got 440 kilometers per hour with the 1992 GT4 ST 185 Silica. All right, let's get on to the next car. All right, so over here we've got the almighty Toyota Supra RZ. Um, the 1998 uh, model going on the run let's see what we're gonna get okay so we are it and one thing for sure is all of these cars are extremely fast with lunch I kind of lost it a bit over there but our, uh, we still at it Yep, you have to lose a bit of power to get it right with a run. All right, so let's see what we gotta get with this. Four, four, one. <laughs> okay, it seems as we get into the newer cars, um, they're getting faster and faster. All right, we managed to get 441 kilometers per hour with the 1998 supra rz this is this is crazy guys knowing how old these cars are all right so let's jump on to the latest car that is the 2013 gt86 okay so this is our last car for the day Ooh. okay let me go a bit further we've got the 2013 gt86 uh this car here is an engine swap beast i mean every engine it just go there and then check it out it's it's got a lot of engine swaps guys you really are going to get a lot but on the downside it's it's really not good with handling it's extremely bad with handling so let's see what we're going to get with this if it manages to pull up faster than the supra rz Okay. It's so hard, guys. It really is hard. Okay, we're seeing forty, forty one. Yep, that's just about it, guys. So this one ties with the Supra RZ at 441 kilometers per hour. And by the way, I will be making a conversion in miles per hour on the screen, so you make sure you check it out as well. All right, so this is it for me, guys. I hope you already seen the fastest to the slowest in the screens, and this should again tell you how powerful the 2JZ engine actually is so this is it for me guys uh until then every single one of you should stay safe and you make sure you click on any of the videos that you're currently seeing uh, on on your screens well on this video actually and i'll catch you there uh again please don't forget to like the video and subscribe it will really really mean a lot to me so peace